Today we're going to be proving that a function is 1 to 1. So we say that a function f of x is 1 to 1, or injective, given that whenever f of x equals f of y, then we also have x equals y. So what we want to do is we want to take each function that they give us and prove that it's 1 to 1. And if it's not 1 to 1, then to explain why. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by assuming that f of x equals f of y. And then we're going to work to show that x equals y in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to red, and I'm going to get a proof of this. Because I want to prove that this function is indeed 1 to 1. So we're going to start off by assuming assume that f of x equals f of y. We're going to start off by assuming f of x equals f of y. So what would that mean? Well, we know that f of x is equal to x cubed. So that means that f of x, I can replace that with x cubed. I bring down my equal sign. And now over here, I have f of y. And if we have a function of y, then all we're doing is we're replacing the x with a y. So instead of getting x cubed, we're going to get y cubed down here. So all we've done so far is we've taken the cubic function and we've exchanged the x variable for a y variable. Okay, so now I have x cubed is equal to y cubed. Well, remember what I need to get to in the end. I do need to work to show that x equals y. So how can I get x equals y from this? How can I get rid of this exponent up here? I could take the cube root of both sides, right? So I'm going to take the cube root of this side. I'm going to take the cube root of x cubed. And then I'm going to bring down my equal sign. And I'm going to take the cube root of y cubed y cubed. So when I do that, the cube root and the exponent 3 are going to cancel out, leaving me an x. I bring down my equal sign, and over here, the same thing is going to happen, and I'm going to be left with y. So now I have x equals y. So now that I have x equals y, I can say that this function is 1 to 1. So I say, therefore, Therefore, f of x is 1 to 1. And I can end my proof right there. So that's the way you prove a function is 1 to 1. And whenever a function is 1 to 1, that just means that any output on the range side or the codomain side is only going to have one input. And we always start off by assuming that f of x is equal to f of y. And then we do some algebra or some work to show that x is equal to y. So that's how you prove a function is one to one. And I hope that helps.